Shalom, shalom. This topic was supposed to have been, was originally supposed to have been short, but it can't be because the way the spirit moved me. And a lot of priests have just came up to me, come up, came up in my spirit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just go ahead and teach. And y'all just got to be patient and hear the word of the most high. Besides, you haven't heard an uh, impromptu lesson from me in a long time. So I'm going to start in Matthew 24th chapter. And let me say this. this is that The topic is false preachers, false prophets, false preachers, and false teachers everywhere. And specifically, I'm going to zoom in on Kenneth Copeland, that demon, because somebody sent me a video. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. So, with that being said, we're going to go into the scripture, and y'all already know how this is going to turn out, those that are seasoned. So, with that, I'm going to start with my uh, lesson, Matthew 24, chapter, and I'm going to start at the 7th verse. Let's go from 7th verse, yeah. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. Eleventh verse, and many false prophets, I'm going to repeat that again, and many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. And because of sin shall abound, okay? From there, let's go to, and like I said, I ain't really had no specific um, order, so uh, I'm going to go read a couple of precepts. We're going to go into Prophets, uh, Lamentations 2, and I'll start there, Lamentations 2 and 14, because that one, you know, that's that really stood out to me, so let's go there. Let's go there, Lam real quick, Lamentations and come on now, Lamentations. Oh boy, I know it's at the uh, Jeremiah. It should be at the Jeremiah, or is it Ezekiel? Uh, yeah, it's at the Jeremiah. Lamentations two, verse fourteen. Wow, this page is short. That's why I'll be skipping it past stuff. Oh, here you go. Lamentations 2, verse 14. What thing shall I take to witness? Salakia, 14 verse. The, thy prophets have seen vain and foolish things for thee, and they have not discovered thine iniquity to turn away thy captivity, but have seen for thee false burdens and causes of, a ba uh, uh, causes of banishment. 15 verse, all that pass by clap their hands at thee. They hiss and wag their head at the daughter of Jerusalem saying, is this the city that men call the perfection of beauty, the joy of the whole earth? Yeah, and that's what these heathen Gentiles do like Kenneth Copeland. So they take upon themselves and try to be presumed to be represent the most high in these false idolatrous churches that are all over the damn earth, and especially in Babylon, America. Okay, because when you see the video, it might play after this or before. Uh, it depends. Uh, but you're going to see what he said, a lot of blasphemous stuff, man. Uh, from Jer we go from there, we're going to go to uh, one more, and we're going to go into the meat of the lesson. Jeremiah 14. I'm uh, right, right after what I'm doing. Jeremiah 14. chapter and the it is the 14th verse then Yahweh said unto me the prophets prophesy lies in my name I sent them not neither have I commanded them neither spake unto them they prophesy unto you a false vision and divination and a thing of naught and the deceit of their heart and why it says, I'm going to get to the meter real quick. We're going to go to uh, Ezekiel. I tell you, this is impromptu. So Ezekiel 13. Uh, Ezekiel, we're going from there. He said, divination. 
In the word, it said divination. You're going to see what he meant by that. Ezekiel 13 chapter. Because divination can be done verbally. They showed you in that movie, um, Get Out. But y'all wasn't paying attention. Those are witches. Psychologists are witches. So, I think it's, uh, yeah, Ezekiel 13. I was in for 13th chapter. And we're going to start at... Uh, We're going to start at, yeah, we're going to start at the fourth verse, and we're going to read the sixth. O, ya, o Israel, thy prophets are like the foxes in the desert. Ye have not gone up in the, into the gaps, neither made up the hedge for the house of Israel to stand in the battle in the day of Yahweh. They have seen vanity and lying divination, saying, Yahweh saith, and Yahweh have not sent them. And they have made others to hope that they would confirm the word. So they said, six verse said, they have seen vanity and lying divination, saith Yahweh. So that's that damn wicked uh, Kenneth Copeland, right? From there, we're going to go to, um, and he ain't part of our nation. So I'm going to get to that too. Matter of fact, I got to go back. Because I got to show you the why, why, why. I'm going to let the scripture speak. I'm not going to say too much. We're going to let the scripture speak. Jeremiah 30. Y'all know this. The seasoned brothers know this. And all the elders. All the all y'all you know where I'm going. Jeremiah 30. Right? From there, we're going to go. We're going to jump right to. We're going to get to the meat of it. Jer Jeremiah 30. And we're going to start at the ninth, uh, 20th verse. Their children also shall be. As this prophecy, their children also shall be as aforetime, and their congregation shall be established before me, and I will punish all that oppress them. 21st verse. And their nobles shall be of themselves. I'm going to read that again. And their nobles shall be of themselves, and their governor shall proceed from the midst of them, and I will cause them cause him to draw near and he shall approach unto me for who is this that engage his his heart to approach unto me say if you how 22nd verse and ye shall be my people and I will be your power that says the, that's that says the most high right but let me show you what happened with what, what, what the devils did when you mixed in here like mixed nuts in Babylon America they call it a, a, a saying called the melting pot melting pot why? Because you got every heathen nation here and we in here. Okay? Uh, the chosen people are in here. Okay? Let's go to... Uh, and that's why it prospered. Okay? That's, we built literally everything you see. From your White House, you name it. It was done by uh, Hebrew Israelites of Negro descent. Let's go to 2 Corinthians. Why the Most High said said uh, said what he said? Let's go to Second Corinthians, because this this dude not only blasphemy, he still deceive our people. That's why I read Ezekiel thirteen um, uh, four to six, right? Let's go to uh, Second Corinthians, real quick. We're gonna go to Second Corinthians. And we're gonna get back on a, a track about these false teachers and false prophets and false preachers, especially these heathens. The seducing our people with lies. Oh uh, man, one came to me. I gotta get y'all. But before that, I'm, I'm gonna, before I go to Corinthians, I'm gonna jump back to Isaiah. Hold on one second. Bear with me. Isaiah. That's what came in my spirit. Isaiah. And this this is classic. Uh, uh, words from Yahweh. Isaiah 29. 29th chapter. Right? Uh, um, Isaiah 29, verse 9 reads, Stay yourselves and wonder and cry, ye out and cry. They are drunken, but not with wine. They stagger, but not with strong drink. So what are, what's making them drunk? And, what, and what's, what's, what's making them stagger, but not with wine? And they stagger, but not with strong drink. Not with no damn wine or vodka, okay, or henny. So what's making them do that? A philosophy, a doctrine. White Christianity is doing that to them. That's why that demon Kenneth Copeland 
is say what he's saying, blaspheme the most high boldly. He's going to burn, man. He's going to burn for that. Okay? And he seduced our people with his doctrine and his lies and deceit, like we just read in Ezekiel 13, 4 to 6, and the other precepts I read, right? Previously, right? So I got a bonus, too, after this. You're going to hear from one of the other. Much better everybody dragged his name, and, you know, Everybody makes error and sins and make falls. The scripture said, righteous man falls seven times. But guess what? I'm going to put him, I think I'm going to put him up there. Just to remind you well, uh, uh, who, who, who helped pioneer this, man. The true gospel, okay? Okay? That's why I'm able to know what I know. Y'all got to be crazy to go that, that far and disrespect the elders like Marsha and Ariel. Come on, man. Uh, what I said, I uh, read Isaiah. Now we're going to go to 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians, right? 1 Corinthians 11. Now we're going to go to Corinthians. I had to read that Isaiah one. 1 Corinthians 11, verse 12. Not 1 Corinthians, 2 Corinthians. I keep, I'm looking at it, it says 2 Corinthians. It's not that. I knew that verse looked the same. <laughs> 2 Corinthians, so like it. 2 Corinthians 11 chapter and the 12th verse. Was it? Was, uh, I started at 12 or 13. Right, it's 12 verse. But what I do that I will do, that I may cut off occasions from them which desire occasion, that wherein they glory, they may be found even as we. For as such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into apostles of Hamashiach Yahawashi. 14 verse. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. 15 verse. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness who, who, whose end shall be according to their works. Right. So the false teachers like Kenneth Copeland and, and the, the big false prophet over there in the Catholic Church, because uh, choirs that kept a lot of, some of these, a few congregations adapted the philosophy of immaculate conception. But guess what? It's, it's wartime, buddy. It's wartime. <laughs> So it is what it is. So, uh, but Kenneth Copeland, you, your name is Dirt, and you one of them uh, ministers of Satan. And like I said in the other podcast, a lot of people got turned off with that, what I was saying, but it's true. And I don't apologize for speaking the truth according to the Bible and to the doctrine of the true prophets of Yahshua Allah, okay? Those Negro prophets, right? Because Kenneth Copeland, you're a Caucasoid, you're an Edomite, and your home is Mount Seir, but soon it's going to be hell in a minute, okay? Because there's no repentance for you, man. You blaspheme the Heavenly Father and a son of, of the Heavenly Father, the only begotten son of the Heavenly Father. Okay, so any ones that join unto them, you're going to eat fire, okay? That's why uh, it, it behooves our people to truly repent, man, and come out of that dumb doctrine of uh, white Christianity, man. It's wicked, because you're drunk and you're staggering, but without strong drink. Because you're stuck in that stupid philosophy of lies and falsehood, man. So, from there, right? <clears throat> I'm going to go to, um, and man, you should see the blasphemous stuff. He said, <laughs> he tried to uh, put himself on a level of a masha. That whole thing was so blasphemous, man. It's, a, it's so, it's, it's, it's terrible, man. So um, let's go to sec Second Peter. Let's go to Second Peter two and one. Let's hear from the apostle, the chief, one of the chief, the chief apostle, um, Peter. And that's according to what Yahweh said, not what I said. Hamashiach um, Yahweh said that. So so, and that was established amongst the twelve. So let's go to 2 Peter 2 and 1. Right? It reads, 
But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that brought them and brung upon them themselves swift destruction. Second verse, and many shall follow their pernicious ways by reason of whom by reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of, and through covetousness shall they with feign words make merchandise of you, whose judgment now of a long time lingereth not, and their damnation slumbereth not. Fourth verse, for if Yahweh spare not the angels that sin, but cast them down to hell and deliver them into chains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment and spared not the old world, but saved Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. Right. And like I said, I know y'all hated that message because I see y'all, some of you false teachers, and I ain't got to name you because I see, I, I follow you on your YouTube and you got, y'all got that YouTube messed you up, man. Okay. That messed you up. Them subscribers messed you up, man. You believe in secretly everything that you following your oppressor, everything he say, man. And I can tell. And it's one particular dude that's doing that, but I ain't going to say his name. But that damn Kenneth Copeland, you dead, man, on arrival, bro. You ain't even, you're my brother. You're the wicked, the wicked side, wicked brother, the wicked one. You're a king. You're Esau. That's who your brother Jenner is. You can never be the chosen people, man. Sitting there putting out people who sleep with lies and falsehood and blaspheming the son of the most high. Trying to put yourself on a level when you're a caucus Caucasoid from the Caucasus Mountain, from Mount Seir. Seir means hairy. That's who Esau was. He came out red and hairy. Genesis 25, 21 down speaks of you, Esau. You're the wicked. That's why he took your melanin away so everybody would know this was the, the murder amongst the Hebrew family. The first one. Now, deal with that. Okay, so now from there, we're going to go to Matthew. Matthew 7. What was I going to put here? I'll say that one for go a little later. Matthew 7. Matthew 7. Right? Matthew 7, we're going to start at the 15th verse. What else I want to go into? Oh, yeah, I'm going to go back. Matthew 7 and 15. Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves. Ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles? Even so, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. A good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit, neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. 19 verse, every tree that bringeth forth not good fruit is hewn down and, and cast into the fire. Wherefore, by their fruits, ye shall know them. 24, 21st verse. Not every one that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. 22nd verse. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? And 23rd verse reads, And then will I profess unto them, I never knew you, depart from me, ye worker, ye, ye that work iniquity. Salakia. So, 
from there, I'm going to read 1 John. And we're going to go to, a matter of fact, before I go there, I got to read Job 9.24, man. I got to do it because it wouldn't be right. I got to read Job 9.24. And y'all see my lessons that's on that YouTube, but I'm really, uh, I'm going to put this first on my Best Shoot channel, most I will, and then it'll go on um, my YouTube and maybe other platform. But I think I'm going to start it on Best Shoot this time. Y'all share the video. Job 9.24. You got to read it. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Right. Who did that? Esau, the so-called white man, when he came in during the Renaissance period. He's the wicked the Bible speaks of, the chief one. Then you got the other ones that cleave to him. It said, the earth is given unto the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Right, because only one man did that. He covered up the faces of the judges of, of, of thereof. Why? By saying he what? was the chosen people, when he was a Khazar, a Edomite, he was putting his image all over magazines, TV, internet, you name it. Every book you can find, he could try to whitewash. As a matter of fact, speaking of that, we're going to go to it. First Maccabees, why? It's on my mind, right? First Maccabees 3, third chapter, and the 48 verse. Everybody knows this. And late, and late, uh, I'm going to start at... Um, uh, 47. Then they fasted that day and put on sackcloth and cast ashes upon their heads and rent their clothes and laid open the book of the law when the heathen had sought to paint their likeness of their images. So the heathen was doing it back then. During those Maccabee, Maccabee period. They did that. They whitewashed the images and Job uh prophesied that that they would do that when they came into power and that's exactly what they did it's called the renaissance era it came right after the dark ages or the middle ages or the negro ages okay that's what they were because negroes was ruling over a thousand years the middle ages okay but after that was what the renaissance and that's exactly what they did so prophecy was prophecy was fulfilled but to see this man kenneth copeland demon non itself going to uh, turn around and say what he said as wicked and blasphemous as can be, man. It's evil with a capital E. How about that? And that proves you're the wicked the Bible speaks of because your actions and the history that you did, you destroyed everything that was good, man. Okay? You you, know, you whitewashed the image. You, you blasphemed and said you were the chosen people. And how you did that when you say called yourself Christian? Because everybody know in the book of Acts, the first ones that were called Christians was the apostles of Hamashiach and Hawashah. Because why? They were supposed to, like we read in Job, 